Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today we're talking about iPhone apps. It is the beginning of a new month. So as with every other month, I have 10 apps to share with you guys that I believe you must download on your iPhone during this month. Now, before we get into the apps, just a quick reminder for you guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure to do so because most of the guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed. So that would be really, really helpful. And of course, make sure you smash the like button if you enjoy the video. Video. We're starting things off with system status. This is a new app that will show you everything you need to know regarding your device. So here we have the dashboard of this app. You will have the general information right there. You will find all the different information you need to know regarding your device. So you can see here from the model, the release date, and you have, of course, the language and all that. You will have the operating system right here and everything else you need to know. Then here we have the RAM memory. So you can see all the details regarding the RAM memory of your device. You can see here everything you need to know in details. You will have the same for the processor as well. And you will have, of course, storage and the battery as well. So all the details you need to know for your device are right here. And if you move on to the toolbox right here, you will find a bunch of different tools that you can use. A speed test for the network, you will have a network scanner, a game ping, you have Bluetooth finder so you can find your Bluetooth devices. That's really cool and of course very useful. And you will have also a few other options here like the ability to help you clean your photos, videos or large files. But what I really like about this app are the cool widgets that you can add on the home screen of your device. So you can see I have here three of those. You have more from the widgets panel, but we have a smaller one. You can see it shows the status of your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and cellular data, as well as your battery, brightness and the storage. We have a smaller one right there for the battery. And then we have this bigger one here that shows the battery brightness, storage, volume and also the RAM memory of your device alongside with the clock of course and the current date and all these for free. Next up is an app called Counter. Now this is a pretty simple app. It will show you your counts for YouTube, whether that's your channel or maybe a channel that you like, you can just go ahead and search for the channel right here on the app. You will be able to see the subscribers, the number of views and the number of videos that that channel has uploaded. You can also share it from here. What you can do is also add these cool home screen widgets. So you can see we have a smaller one with the number of subscribers, but right there at the top, we have one that shows all the information. So it shows the subscribers, the number of views, and also the number of videos that that channel has uploaded. The next app for the video is a browser called You. Now this one is really interesting. It is a new app and it allows you to quickly search the internet, but it will make it very, very easy for you to search anything you want anywhere directly from this app. So let's say I want to search Twitter for iReviews. I don't have to open Twitter. I can do that from here. So you can see once you go here, we'll have the search bar just like that. You can search and you get all the results from Twitter right here within the app. Pretty simple to use, very, very useful as well. So if we add a new tab right here, you can see we have the recently viewed, we can go ahead and open them from here, or we have with our favorites and of course go ahead and just go to any of these websites and search from here. It also offers home screen widgets, which allow you to quickly search for anything. And then this one right here will have your recents on a widget and you can just tap on the link. So any link that you tap there, it will actually open that link, not just open the app. So that's pretty useful as well. And you can go ahead and open your recents quickly directly from the home screen of your device. The next app for the video is called Custom Contacts. Now this one lets you share contacts, but it has a really unique way of doing it. Once you select a contact from your contacts list that you want to share, then this app will let you choose what you want to share from that contact. So let's say I just want to share the phone number from this contact. I can just tap those, unselect them. You can see I can just go ahead and now send the contact anywhere I want. So that's how useful this is and how quickly you can share any specific information from a contact, not just share every detail that you have on the contact. Now, what's really cool is that you can also add widgets on the home screen and you can actually have a contact, of course, which you can scan from the home screen. So you can see right here, you can add any contact you want on this widget, tap the edit widget, and you can choose the contact from here. And then you will be able to actually share that contact via a QR code directly from your home screen. Flow Wallpapers is the next app for the video. It is a wallpaper app with some really amazing wallpapers. 
One downside to this app is maybe that it has quite a lot of ads, but the wallpapers are free, so of course that makes it up. So you can see right here the wallpaper that I currently have on my home screen, this one from this app, pretty cool. So you can see we have a lot of wallpapers right here, which are actually really good and the quality is amazing now you can go right here and you can go to live wallpapers so going here you will find wallpapers that you can download and set on the lock screen of your device as live wallpapers these are free as well and then you will have here like exclusive wallpapers you will have here the trending wallpapers of course always you can go ahead and download them simply by tapping on one of the wallpapers you will have the button right there and you're good to go and you will have them here different categories that you can go ahead and explore so you can see right here different categories just go ahead tap on one of them it will show you of course wallpapers from that category and you can see actually the wallpapers are really really good and also as i said the quality of the wallpapers is really nice and we have another wallpaper app called Meyer Splash. This one offers also some really high quality wallpapers for your device. Now what you can see here on the home screen are the newer wallpapers that have been added. And then you will have also here random wallpapers tab there. It just shows you like of course random wallpapers. You will have here the dev wallpapers and you will have highlights as well. So of course you can tap on one of these wallpapers, see the wallpaper or of course download it to your device. So the download will happen in the background. You don't need to wait there for the wallpaper. Now what you can do is of course search for wallpaper. So once you tap here, you will see a few suggestions that you can use. Of course, tap on one of those if you want to search for something specific or just use one of the suggestions right there. And again, find some wallpapers that actually look really, really good. And of course, will also make your device look much, much better. Now right here, we'll also have a filter. So when you're searching something or browsing the wallpapers, you can use the, the, the filter to choose whether you want to display the landscape or the portrait mode, which of course are the ones that you need for your iPhone. And then of course it will filter all the wallpapers from this app. Next up is an app called RGB keyboard. And you can see it will add this pretty cool looking keyboard to your device. Now I know this is an app that has been around for quite some time, but the reason I put it on this video it is now free for a few days it has been free it was like one dollar now it's free you have the chance to get this app for free and you can see it has a pretty cool looking keyboard and of course it works quite good as well just like you would expect from a default keyboard on your ios device and the app doesn't need to actually be worked on or something like that all you have to do is install the app and then go ahead head on to the settings app go to general and from here go to keyboard Go to keyboards right here, add a new keyboard and make sure you choose the RGB keyboard and add it to your keyboard. And then of course you can go ahead and switch to that anytime you want from the globe here. You can see how cool that looks. The next app for the video is called Gift Tools. Probably the only GIF app that you need on your device. You can turn a video into a GIF, a live photo into a GIF, or you can turn a GIF into a video. So let's just try here, turn a video into a GIF file. So tap here and load it from your camera roll. Once you have loaded the video, what you can do here is of course crop it if you want to, and then tap the next button. Now right here you will have the dimension. You can choose the frames per second and then tap on generate. And just like that, you will have now a GIF file that you have created out of a video. Now what you have here is two options. You can either save it to your camera roll or you can just go ahead and straight up share it from here. Snap PDF is the next app for the video. It allows us to turn any website into a PDF file. Now you would do this, of course, with the default screenshot tool of iOS, but that will just save the whole entire website as one page on PDF. This one, of course, will separate it based on the pages that the website has. So what we can do here is just go ahead and search here for a website or anything you want, add a URL here, anything you want. So here we have a website we just loaded and you can see the pages of the website right here. And what you will have here is a simple PDF button. So simply by tapping on that button right there, it will generate a PDF out of this website. You can change the name of the PDF right here or just tap on create PDF. You can see now we have a PDF, a true PDF file. You can see right there with 48 pages. You can just go ahead, take a look at the PDF file right here or just tap the little share button. And of course, go ahead and save it to your files app or anywhere you need. 
And last but not least is an app called MedHome AI. This is a weather app that will display the weather information for current day and also for the next 10 days and even a month. So you can see right here, once you select the city that you want or your location, you can see of course here the hourly forecast and you will see the daily forecast for the next 10 days. But you can also tap on monthly forecast and you will see the monthly forecast here for the entire month, which is really awesome. Now going here, you can add any city you want or just use your location. And what's really cool are these home screen widgets. So you can add widgets, you can see how cool that looks for any of the cities you have on the list, or you can have the smaller one right here and you can see it shows the hourly forecast, but I can switch that simply by tapping the edit button and choose forecast by day. So now it will actually display the forecast for the next days right here for the next seven days and that's really really useful as well now you can go ahead and pick the city simply by 3d touching on the widget tap on edit widget and just choose here any city you want you tap here and search for the city that you want to display so that is it for this video guys these are 10 apps that i believe iphone users must download on their device during april 2022 thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed it subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one